with the Coral Nursery, which is a restoration project where we have three of the most endangered species of coral, where we're trying our best to restore them, grow them, and then outplant them to keep them alive. And so far, we are quite successful with the growth, and it's just up to us. We're just waiting a little bit more, a little bit more for the corals to grow till we can outplant them out there. The three corals we're dealing with are of the Acropora, genus, the species of them are the elkhorn, the staghorn, and the fused staghorn. Now these three corals are kind of like the frame builders of the reef, so once they start building up, the actually bring in more corals. So we ended up with brain coral and some pillow coral too, they just pop, Pop popped up. Um, there's a disease that affects these particular uh, corals, kind of like bleaching, but it's called the white band disease. Only affects these three corals, and it wipes out quite a bit of them. So what we have now is all that we have now. So to prevent them from being completely gone, remember these are the frame builders of the reef. So if you want to think of it like a foundation of a house, they're the foundation, you start bottom up. If you remove the bottom of the house, it crumbles. These guys are the frame of the reef, so without them, that's the problem, right? Because we have them here for now. What if they don't exist 10, 20 years down the road? We're here to, pref we're here to make sure what we have now lasts for the rest of the generation. The cleaning of the corals is like, like I said, how special they are to the marine life. It was something pretty to see. Even the fishes got together, like down there. They know that it's a big role, so they all gathered together and protect the coral. It was like something really beautiful and awesome. <laughs> it's something that I do see myself seeing, doing in the future. It's, I have a big passion for the marine life and would love to see my future grow.